guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we are just going to be making one of my all-time favorite desserts and that is cinnamon rolls I love making these all year round they're super simple and very delicious and they only take about 20 to 25 minutes to put together and cook so it's very easy so let's just get right on into the video okay guys first things first you're going to need a food scale so I'm just going to put mine here you're also going to need a microwave safe bowl and we're going to measure out 10 ounces of cheese and I'm just using um, this right here this is the mozzarella ch uh, shredded cheese and we're just going to measure out 10 ounces now you're just going to pop this in the microwave until it's completely melted okay now that my cheese is completely melted you're just going to add in one egg and I've let this cool for about one minute you don't want it too hot to where it will cook your egg so you're just going to add that in there and you're going to mix your egg into your cheese now this may take a few minutes but just keep working with it and it will get there All right, now to this dough, you're going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla. Now you have to remember this is a sweet dough. So we're going to add in about two tablespoons of sweetener. You can add more or less to taste. And just mix that in. And now we're going to add in about five ounces of um, almond flour. I am going to sift my almond flour just to be sure there are no clumps. So just measure out five ounces. You're also going to add in about a teaspoon of baking powder and just sift this together you can take this off and just mix this together the reason why you don't want the reason why you want to sift your almond flour is to prevent any of the um, clumpy almonds that did not get broke down into your mixture so just sift that through and see all of these lumps here we don't want that in there so we're just going to toss that so now you're just going to mix this together until it's completely combined this may take a minute or two but just keep working with it and you will get it in there together it will come together very well okay guys this is what my dough looks like we're just going to set this aside for about five minutes while we make the filling which is the cinnamon sugar to go inside these okay so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need cinnamon and stevia this is the um, fine ground sugar that I get from great value it's the stevia and you're going to want to pretty much even out your ingredients so if you use a tablespoon of cinnamon you're going to use a tablespoon of sugar or stevia And to make these a little festive, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of nutmeg to this. Now when you're using nutmeg, remember this is a very potent spice, so you don't need that much. 
maybe about a quarter of a teaspoon and that is it now if you want to make this a paste you can you can um, melt some butter into this and make it a paste which is fine but I'm going to melt my butter in a separate bowl um, so that way I can just spread the butter evenly and do it that way but you can do it either way that you like now for my better I'm going to use about a tablespoon of butter and I'm just going to pop this in the microwave and I'm just going to let it melt for about 10 to 15 seconds all right and here's what the butter looks like it's not completely melted but that's fine it will continue to melt as it sits but in the meantime we're just going to set our cinnamon and our sugar aside and we're going to work on our dough now for the dough what you're going to need is you're going to need some parchment paper i'm just going to put a little bit of oil on the parchment this will prevent it from sticking and just spread that around and then you can put your dough there what you're going to do now is you're just going to kind of pat this down into a rectangle just to make it a little bit easier to roll out that looks good okay what you're going to do now is you're just going to place a, another piece of parchment over the top and you're just going to roll this out until it is a rectangle shape and it's about one quarter inch thick take off your parchment you can now go ahead and scoop on your butter but if you find mixing your butter and your spices together that is completely fine you do you so you're just going to spread out your butter evenly this will also help the dough to stick together Now you can go ahead and sprinkle on all of your cinnamon sugar. Be sure to leave a border so that your dough can stick to itself, at least on one end. Now what you can do is you can use the parchment paper to help you roll this out. Um, it's not really that hard to roll up just start with the end that's closer to you and just kind of roll it once you get it going it's pretty simple to roll and then you can just pinch these ends back together and you can cramp the ends together like that and now what we're going to do is we're going to take a sharp knife and you're just going to cut this into equal sections you can make them as thick or thin as you like but what I do is I just like to start in the middle and cut it down the center so now I have two equal pieces and then I cut that down the center and 
and then I cut those down the center. Now I have eight pieces, two, four, six, eight. And now what we're going to do, I already have my oven preheated to 375 degrees. And I have an iron skillet here and I've already got it coated in butter. And what you can do is you kind of can flatten these down just a bit. Now these aren't going to spread out that much. So I just kind of place them wherever I like in the pan and then I can just kind of smush it down. And you can rearrange them however you want. I'm going to put these a little bit closer together but not completely touching because they will spread out just a little bit now with some of your leftover butter you can just pat the top of that with some leftover butter it doesn't take much because there is quite a lot of butter in here already this is just going to help the tops of the cinnamon rolls get a little brown and now we're just going to take these and pop them in the oven and about 15 to 20 minutes give or take just until they're cooked through and they're golden brown on the top okay guys now that we have our cinnamon rolls in the oven we're just going to make our icing and this is just a basic cream cheese icing I'm going to add in two ounces, two ounces of cream cheese to my bowl here. All right, I've got two ounces of softened cream cheese. Um, you can pop this in the microwave for about 15 to 20 seconds if it's cold straight out of the freezer or out of the refrigerator I should say and to that we are going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla and you're going to add about two tablespoons of stevia and then you're just going to mix this together until it's well combined Make sure you get all of the lumps out because you don't want to bite down into a big old lump of cream cheese. All right, guys, that's what it looks like. It's very thick, but it's still warm. So while we wait on our um, cinnamon rolls to cook and cool, we're just going to set this aside so it can come to room temperature and then we will ice in our cinnamon rolls. Okay, you guys, this is what the cinnamon rolls look like straight out of the oven and they have cooled. So they're fairly thick nice swirl to it I love that and they smell absolutely amazing I've just got them sitting on a paper towel they have been cooling for about 35 to 45 minutes round about in there I've got my um, cream cheese icing and I'm just going to put just a little bit on top of each one just to portion it out just so we have enough but you can make extra of this if you like it's completely up to you I just make enough for the eight of the cinnamon rolls then you can just go ahead and ice in them however you like
All right, guys, this is what they look like when they are all done and have the icing on them. They are so good, you guys. Look at that center. Isn't that gorgeous? Now let's give it a try. Mmm. These are so good. They're not overly sweet, but you can definitely add in more sugar, uh, more stevia if you like. They're very, they have, it's a dough, so it's got that doughy texture. It's a fathead dough, so it's got that fathead dough consistency. They're super delicious, you guys. They're Like I said, they're not overly sweet. The icing, the cream cheese icing, brings up that sweetness just a little bit. And they're really, really good. You've got that nice crust on the bottom. These store really well. You can um, just put them in a container and put a lid on it and pop them in the fridge. You can freeze these and take them out and heat them up whenever you want. That's what I do if I can eat them in time. They usually last about a week or so in the refrigerator. But like I said, you can definitely freeze these. Just um, lay them out on a sheet pan, pop them in the freezer until the icing gets set. So that way, when you put them in your container, you don't mess up the icing. When the icing is set, pop them in a container, put them back in the freezer, and they're good to go. But yeah, you guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that little red subscribe button down below. And don't forget to tick that little notification bell so whenever I upload new videos, you'll be alerted to it. So, all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.